Hi, my YouTube friends. Okay, so this is just a little Rialto trick, the Cola Rialtos, and I'm talking about this Rialto here, that you're gonna have that big um, tube in the tank, okay? And the uh, float arm, as opposed to the other Rialto with the blue, um, the more modern blue valve. So sometimes, this is a trick to address this problem. In the rim feed, which is the water that comes around the rim, what that does is it fills up the bowl after the flush. If your Rialto isn't filling up to something like this level, where you at least cover that um, that uh, vent over there, the water vent, um, this is the trick you do. And the reason this would be a problem is you get a lot of uh, marks on the bowl when you do your number two, because there's no water to catch it, so it just kind of slides down the back of the bowl and you're leaving a mark. And the problem is, is that little float arm, and I'll show it to you right here, that little float arm that you're going to see hanging off the side of the valve, like down in there, okay? It's going to be like down in there. And what this does is it's a float, and when the tank water gets to a certain level, this floats up and it shuts off that rim feed, if it's working properly. A lot of times as these Rialtos get old, the rim feed won't fill at all, and then you get a low level in your bowl, and that causes that problem I was talking about. And it also gives you a bad flush, too, because it, the water level isn't at the correct level to start with, so when it starts to flush, it doesn't really give you a good flush. That little screw right there, you loosen it up a couple of turns and you just slide this off that little stem that's on that side of that valve there and just get rid of this thing. Then you will have full rim feed during the whole refill cycle and you are guaranteed to get the proper water level in your bowl. Actually, in a lot of municipalities, this is even against code. So a plumber on an installation would just automatically take this off. So it's not like a totally necessary piece. It does save a little water over the long run if it's working correctly. But if yours is not working correctly, instead of going out and buying a $120 Rialto retrofit kit, which is what this whole valve is going to cost you to get this working right, just remove this. It takes about two seconds. And provided that everything else is working in the tank correctly, as far as... Uh, your flapper, which only lasts a couple of years, so uh, that's that red thing down there. They only last a couple of years, so we might as well just replace your flapper. They're available. They all, not all the Rialtos have that style flapper. There's also the other style flapper, but uh, you would replace whichever one you have. You could take the old one off and bring it to the home center or plumbing supply. And your fill valve, so provided everything else is working correctly, and the only problem is you don't have a good uh, fill in your bowl, Removing this will take care of the problem. So that's just a little cheap, quick little fix for some Rialto problems. But remember, your flapper too is very important. That's that red rubber thing I just showed you. And they only last a couple of years. Three, two, three, four, five years at the most. So if you haven't replaced your flapper in a while, and all toilets, all the flappers, they're quick-lived. So keep on top of your flap a good flush and you won't be using that plunger so much and you'll have a happy time in your bathroom. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Use the comment box because it helps the other users in the future. They actually do read it and you may answer someone else's question just by you asking a question or leaving a comment. And uh, rate and sub while you're here because that really helps me with this YouTube gig, especially the subbing. See you later guys. Bye.